Welcome back to Simple Deals, Hauls, and Coupons. Today I have the Dollar General updated penny list with markdown list for May 28th. Uh, they did come out with a new uh, penny list that has penny food on it, so I wanted to make sure to throw this video up so that you would be able to look at the items, check them on your phone with your Dollar General app. There's an area where you go to scan, and if you click that, you'll be able to then um, click the area uh, above where it's got the scanner uh, like camera and you can actually punch in the numbers and you'll see in your different stores uh, the quantities of what they might have. Special thanks to the freebieguy.com for posting the penny and markdown list. He also posted the new penny list which has the food items on there. Um, he has a great website that offers all kinds of freebies and deals. He adds new freebies and deals every day and he also, um, on that website, he has um, like lots of things for that you can get free on your birthday and trial samples. So if you haven't been to his website, um, I'd like, you know, I, I would go check it out. Okay, so we do have a penny list for May 28th. We've got the penny food items here. Captain Crunch treats, peanut butter cereal bars, eight count. Hostess chocolate chip mini pouches, 20 count total in the box, 8.5, 8.25 ounces. Hostess donuts glazed, 10.5 ounce bag. Hostess triple chocolate Cas bars, 8 count. And the Quaker Chewy mini dips granola bars, and those are s'mores, 12 count. And those will all be a penny as of tomorrow, May 28th. Penny list visuals for May 28th. Um, we've got the Captain Crunch treats, the Hostess Mini Muffins chocolate chip, Hostess Donuts glazed, and you want to make sure you can check these UPC codes on your Dollar General app. Okay, like I said before, you can just open up your Dollar General app, click on the little item where up in, um, I believe it's up in the upper right hand corner. It's the to scan items with. Click on that, and then above that, you can click to actually enter these UPC codes in. And once you enter the UPC code, then you can see where these items, what the quantities are of these items in stores near you. Penny list visuals continue for May 28th. We have the Hostess Cas bars, triple chocolate eight mini bars. We have the Quaker Chewy mini dips, and that is the Summer Night S'mores. And again, check these UPC codes on your Dollar General app. You can also check them on BrickSeek, but the Dollar General app may be a little more accurate. New markdowns for May 28th. We have Mother's Day seasonal socks and stationery, 90% off. That is a great percentage off if you can find any of these items. Okay, again, new markdowns for a May 28th. Mother's Day seasonal socks and stationery. 90% off. I've got some visuals here. Um, these are some of the socks. We have the Happy Mother's Day Kangaroo Socks, the Happy Mother's Day Koala Socks, Happy Mother's Day Best Mom Hearts Socks, and the Happy Mother's Day Dog Mama Socks. And these will all be 10 cents each as of tomorrow, May 28th. New markdowns continue, and this list is for May 28th. Mother's Day seasonal socks and stationery, 90% off. Uh, the Happy Mother's Day Stepping Stone Painting Kit Assorted. That'll be 30 cents. Happy Mother's Day Do-It-Yourself Flower Pot Kit Assorted. That'll be 30 cents. Frosted Coffee, Coffee Mug Assorted, 30 cents. And the Decorative Mother's Day Photo Frame will also be 30 cents. Okay, and the new markdown list for May 28th continues. Mother's Day seasonal socks and stationery, 90% off. Here are a couple of the examples of the plushies. Uh, the one on the left is a brown bear, and it says, Mom deserves a spa day, and it's got the little spa bandana or headband and the little cucumbers on the eyes. And on the right, it's a white bear, and, it, and the little bear's in a sweatshirt hoodie, and it says Super Mom on it. Now we're back onto the regular markdown list, continuing for May 28th. As seen on TV will be 10% off. 
There's tons of item on the as seen on TV areas, but these are just the ones I could find on the website. As seen on TV, ever bright LED light. As seen on TV, clear TV antenna. As seen on TV, flex seal bright 14 ounce. Markdown list for May 28th continues. We have brown dot at 50% off. Uh, these, these are some of the items that I believe are brown dot. Comfort Bay Mink Shaggy Throw Blank at 50 by 60, that's $8. The Throw Blank at 50 by 60 is 12. The Wildlife Print Extra Long Rochelle Throw Blank at 40 by 65 is 750. Markdown list continues for May 28th. Brown Dot is 50% off. Wildlife Printed Soft Throw Blank at 50 by 60, 60 assorted, $5. Animal ki Animals Kids Throw Blanket Assorted $6. Comfort Bay Wildlife Printed Rochelle Sherpa Throw 50 by 60 is $9. Comfort Bay Glow in the Dark Kids Throw 40 by 50 Assorted $4. Markdown list for May 25th continues. Brown Dot 50% off visuals. True Living Pet Print Plush Throw 50 by 60 is $4. Comfort Bay Cozy Cuddler Throw 50 by 60 is $5. Comfort Bay Baby Kids Hooded Throw 50 by 25 inch, $2.50. And the Comfort Bay Double Layer Sweater Cable Knit Throw is $12.50. Markdown list continues for May 28th. Brown Dot 50% off visuals. Comfort Bay Cozy Knit Throw 50 by 60 is $10. Comfort Bay Micro Light Berber Throw 50 by 67 is 750. Comfort Bay Embossed Plush Throw 50 by 60 is six dollars, and the Comfort Bay Luxury Throw 50 by 60 is six dollars. The markdown list for May 28th continues. Select Electronics 70 percent off. The ProScan Portable LED Bluetooth Speaker is 835. Craig Bluetooth Portable Speaker is $16.50, and the Volcano Mamba Light Series Portable Bluetooth Speaker is $18.75. And I think there's tons of other electronic items out there that are 70% off. These are just the ones I could find online. Markdown list continues for May 28th. Reusable masks and bandanas, 50% off. Mission Ridge Bandana Camouflage Print 2 Count is $3.50. Mission Ridge Bandana with Fluorescent Paisley Print 2 Count, $350. And the Mission Ridge Bandana with Basic Paisley Print 2 Count is $350. Okay, also on the markdown list for May 28th, Beehive Home is 25% off. Blue Prince Home is 25% off. And, blue, and Brown Dot is 50% off. Markdown list for May 28th continues. Gray Dot Socks are 50% off. Purple Clover Home are 50% off. Safari Home is 25% off. And the Shades of Gray is 25% off. Markdown list for May 28th continues. Select Electronics 70% off. Reusable Masks and Bandanas 50% off. Blue Dot Toys 50% off. And the Pet NCI Table is 25% off. Okay, and these are just a few reminders. Uh, penny shopping is supposed to be a secret. So that just, you know, means when you go into the store, just go in and take a look around. Don't stop and, you know, uh, try to get information. Which leads us to this slide. Uh, you never ask Dollar General employees about pennies. I made this mistake when I first started. You know, because I didn't know, I didn't understand how it all worked. So, you know, the reason why we have the pennies, of course, is because Dollar General employees get the list and then they're supposed to pull all the things that are on that list. They're supposed to pull off the off the shelves and it's not supposed to be on the floor so that, you know, those don't exist. But if they do, if they don't get them off the floor and Tuesday comes around, then if you scan those items that are on the list for that week, then it should ring up a penny. And so, you know, but just don't ask them about it. You just go in and just take a look around. 
Okay, and then your miles may vary. The YMMV, and when I first started, I didn't know what they were talking about. That just means your miles may vary, and items in one area might be a penny, and in another area, they might be full price, and I've had that happen to me too. Uh, so, you know, you just need to make sure that if you find an item that you that is on the penny list, scan it, because it might be a penny, but it might not be a penny. And if you scan it, then you're more, like, clear when you go up to the checkout, you'll be more confident. Okay, if you are refused a penny item, you can show the Dollar General penny policy because they are supposed to sell it if it's on the floor and it rings up a penny. They're supposed to sell it to you. But, you know, the way I look at it is I don't want to have the confrontation with anyone. So if, if and I may have been refused a penny before, a penny item before, I can't really remember. But if that happens to me, I would just say, you know, okay, that's fine. And then I just would not make a big deal about it. But, you know, if you wanted to show them the penny policy and say, hey, it's right here in your store policy, you have to sell that to me. You're supposed to sell that to me. Then you most certainly can. It's, it's on the next slide. Okay, and here is the Dollar, Jenny, the Dollar General penny policy. And it states, penny, penny sales should not occur in a store at any time. If an item rings up for a penny, the item should be sold to the customer for a penny. So that's right in their policy. So if you want to just take a picture of that with your phone, you could have that on your phone ready to go if you needed it. That's all I had for my Dollar General updated penny list with the markdown list for May 28th. And that would, that would be the penny food. That's the big thing about this uh, video. So I hope everyone's able to go out and find some of those pennies tomorrow. Um, and have some really good luck at finding some great deals. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll become a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.